outer orange. Pre Vietnam my lovelies and welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to talk about my go. Supposedly, if not, maybe one of the strongest decks that's come out in D. So let's go ahead and talk about it. All right, fam. We are here with the usual ride line. This is my go. Uh, this is a collab that basically came out for Divine Z set one. This deck has been pretty potent in Japan, and it's probably gonna be pretty potent over on our side too, even though it did come out it did come out a little bit later. But I recently played, and I, I kid you not, I barely had any knowledge on this deck. I recently played Vanguard Day, and it was like a Vanguard Day combined with a sealed event where you can only play divine set one decks basically and ride lines with with the divine set one and trial decks and i was someone that had very very little knowledge with this deck i was still able to perform really well i got the top eight in that um but yeah this deck's really strong we're gonna kind of go over it i know i have a lot more knowledge on it now as so i kind of break it down even more for y'all and yeah we're just gonna go ahead and get started sleeve wise i'm actually using the trial deck sleeves funnily enough um because like i said i put i put this together pretty pretty randomly after 50 cards dot shop code orange uh, but 50 cards basically sent me some some of these some of the mygo cards right actually he sent me all the mygo cards so i put this together like a day or two before the actual event so i just grabbed the first sleeves i saw and it just happened to be these um and then for the regular sleeves we're actually using bcw sleeves they're sleeves that uh wcc albert gave me um and that was really cool and actually a big shout out to them because i actually really really like these sleeves and that was just really awesome anyway so let's go ahead and start with the ride line and we'll just kind of break it down from there so first we have the zero you do need this specific zero if you want to do what you want to do because when this rides up you search for a card called Har harukage and harukage is basically a nice. one drop a, a one uh a grade one order it looks like this and she, this for this order is very very strong it, it reads very simple but it's very strong it basically says when you play it you grab a synthic or a synthic i don't know what they're called the cards they look like these um, we'll get into sort of what these cards do. Grade 2 doesn't do anything that crazy, but when you ride into the Grade 3, you basically get to look at top 7 cards for a Mygo card and add to hand, and that's basically it. Now, going into the Grade 3 herself, nice. she says, once per turn, you get Soul Blast, choose up to one Mygo unit card, and from your bind zone, I call it a rear guard circle. If your opponent's great, they you get two. Um, so with different card names. So what you can do is you can basically set up your board every single turn with this ability. The second effect is very simple. If you didn't play an order, you can count by search one from drop or deck and then play it. All the Bang Dream cards have this ability, so this is nothing new. About this, as you can tell, we're working a bind zone and we're working, we're working a couple of things why this deck basically gets pretty strong. The bind zone is a very hard zone for people to reach. Most decks can't reach him. So because of that, they're usually safe in that zone. So Bind Zone is a very safe zone. Talk about the orders. So first we have the Grade 1 order. Uh, you can actually run this at even 4 copies if you want, but I run it at 3. Basically, this is, you search at 1 out and then you have 2 more. If you super high roll, uh, these come up like a lot early game. If you like kind of don't high roll, these come up, don't come up as much, but seeing these as early as possible is actually really good. Uh, basically, this card, it lets you draw a ton of cards based off the other card. We'll kind of talk about here that there in a second. We have the Grade 2, which I'm running at 3, but I'll probably bump one down to run the Harukage. As long as you don't damage one of these, you're fine. This one's very simple. It says one year Vanguard with Tamari and its Cardima attacks. By the way, it's any of the ride line ones. So choose one of your front row Mygos and stand it. And if your opponent's a great thing greater, you stand the column with it. So basically the booster behind it would stand two. You can actually play this on turn two, by the way. So if you want to high roll a different way, you can have four attacks on turn two. Kind of just depends on the game state. Keep in mind if you attack and um they hit a defense and you don't have like a good board state, this card sucks. You would rather have this. But if you have like a really good hand or if you're in a really good spot, you can go after this. Four attacks is pretty brutal, I will not lie. But the downside again is like you're losing on a lot of draw. But and then we have the grade three. This thing is absolutely insane. It basically says at the end of the battle that the Tamari Vanguard, the Tamari attack um is card name. If you have one of each unit, which is one of all the all the all the all the units but the Vanguard basically. That's nice. You stand everything, they all get 5k. Um, and that's not simple, but it's very important. And you do have to discard a card, but it's okay. Uh, one of the units you stand gets drive checks, so you get yeah, you get your you get your one back. Very simple, just persona. Nothing nothing crazy here. You really 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 need persona. Persona makes this deck like absolutely just insane. You do have ways to find it, so it's not the end of the world. But yeah, you definitely definitely want to see these. Uh, it's mainly not even so much for the persona writing; it's for the soul. Uh, this deck goes through soul quite a bit, so you definitely want to you, know, you want to find a persona. First important grade two, which is gosh, I do not know these names. Um. Oh lord, this one has such a long name. Uh, Chihaya has two abilities. The first one says Karen Blast. When she's placed on a rear guard circle, you can top five a call card. That's been my go card. So basically, you, you can find cards that you're not finding with her, which is very important because you want to find all the cards. She has to be on the right side, so just keep in mind you have to usually want to call her on the right side, uh, not the left side. Card ability says, which is also important. At the end of the battle, she, yeah, she attacked. You can, for a cost, bind her and draw. This is really impactful because you're binding her and you're drawing, so you're just basically getting advantage. You're going to unbind her later on anyway. 
basically off the off the counter blast you get a card and off her attack you get a card which is like nuts i'm not gonna lie <laughs> so she's really good and then we have the other grade two this is the one that does the drive checks this one is called rana so this is this is rana and basically she says when this unit attacks you can give it plus 5k she has to be on the left side keep in mind so what you can do with her is you can swing with her give her the five and then restand her swing with her again and give her the five again because she buys at the end of the turn so and it's it's not like uh, it's an auto ability so you can basically give her 10k um and then she has a second ability that says when she's restood if your opponent's vanguard is greater or greater until i turn this for this thing performs proper performance drive check with the battle of this unit attack so it actually can go up if there's ever a chance where there's more but basically she swings and she'll have a drive check on her because she gains power it'll usually be pretty big when she swings and um yeah she's just kind of disgusting if you're on persona ride and th with this card and everything it gets pretty nasty this is soil so soil a uh, very simple again her her her, her abilities are pretty simple too it says what place you could choose something give 5k that goes vanguard by the way uh, someone just gave it a 5k to vanguard isn't terrible if you know your opponent's hand pretty well ideally you usually want to give it to uh the pink hair chick which is her because she doesn't gain power herself so if you want the columns to kind of match pretty well with the with the other grade two uh, you can put the 5k on her but it'll basically be either her or the vanguard we up to you what we're, we're depending on game state second ability says when she boosts a my go you can so blast until the end of that battle when your opponent would call cards from their hand to the guard circle it must call two or more at the same time at the end of that turn, bind this unit. So this is also very important. This is a very annoying guard restrict. And it says at the end of the turn, so you can actually do it twice. I don't recommend doing it twice, but you can do it twice. Um, because it's at the end of turn that it goes and it gets bound. But keep in mind, you have to bind her, so you can lose her. It's also a lot of soul, but it is a very useful soul to use. Because usually if you drive check with the other side and then swing with the right side, um, usually your opponent will be at four. So if you had a crit, you could put on, on this column basically, and, um, your opponent has to guard and if they PG, they have to drop three cards and it's very annoying. Uh, very, very annoying. <laughs> um, last but not least for the units, we have the, uh, this is Taki. Taki has a first effect that you never use. So as well as you just place on, on rear guard circle, so by so top three for a music card and put it into your hand. Yeah, don't ever use this ability. It is actually just a waste of your of soul. Don't do it. Um, you have so many ways to get your music. It is a nice deck thin, I'm not gonna lie, but unless you have like a thousand soul in your soul, you should not be using this. What's really important is the second ability. It says at the beginning of the guard step of the battle, your unit with the Tamari got attacked. You find her and give that unit plus 10k. So basically it's just a 10k, uh, just a, a 10k shield. As long as it doesn't get touched. It can get touched, it can get retired, but it's also from hand. But from hand, you can also bind her and just get the 10k. Uh, be careful how you use these, because if you use too many of these, then you don't have the condition for your restand, so just be cautious. But otherwise, yeah, this is this card's yeah, kind of nuts. After that, we have uh, PGs. Nothing crazy here, just PGs. Some people are like, why are you running the sink in a, in a sealed event? Well, funnily enough, uh, into a mirror, this the sink matters because of the because of the guard restrict. Uh, the the sink goes around the guard trick so if you if you drop the sink you don't have to drop three cards fun fact nice. um so yeah the sink is still important <laughs> even in, in situations like that triggers are interesting uh i am running three draws i really recommend draws those are the 10k shield ones uh you actually really need draws i'm actually thinking about bumping this up to four this deck could be really fragile early on especially if you're going first but the thing is you want to go first that's the problem you want to go first but you lose out on a lot of draw and this deck especially if you're holding pieces and you're not holding triggers uh it can be very fragile you can randomly die um especially if you're not drawing it to perfect guards it, it does happen so i actually really really recommend the draws as nice as fronts are the draws are extremely important in this deck you can get away with fronts but i will say you will uh not find pieces in time and you will just be struggling the draws come up i like i said i've thought about running four the only reason i have it is because of deck out uh the deck can get it can deck out and actually i got really close to deck out with uh in one match so it can be a little risky but i i think the draws are better i kind of forgot to mention the ot but i run the red ot I figure out why the Red OT isn't great in here, but I'm still going to run it. Um, basically, the Red OT kind of sucks because when you swing with her and you're under the grade three order, everything is rested. So because everything is rested, you can't do the first effect. You have to do the second effect. Now, keep in mind, you just draw twice and you don't call a card. You can just not call a card and just give the 100 million to, to whatever column that you want. Either it's the one that's attacking, uh, without the one that's going to be drive checking or the one that's going to the guard restrict, which is nice. But you lose out on that on that extra on that extra restand basically which kind of sucks which in that case the blue ot is better but in every other situation the red ot is better now there is one more thing that's scary about this ot is the second draw like i said i, I got close to a deck out situation and i actually had to not swing with the column to guarantee i don't get to the second condition and draw an extra card it actually came down to that funnily enough look the ot was the very last card in the deck i wouldn't have hit it but i had a very very high chance of hitting it so i chose to just not swing with the column i still won the game but it was close uh, next we have uh, heals. We can't run any other heals, so we're just running the basic four heals. Thank God, I don't have to think too hard about the heals. 
And then for the nice. crits, honestly, you could run all the vanilla crits. The soul crits are really nice. I am running them right now. I'm really nice. They're really nice, but you're almost, you're never gonna you're never gonna do this condition. I'm not gonna lie. You're just you're just never gonna do this. You really really desperately need the shield. There's a very low chance. I mean, if you're really desperate for it, sure. But you really shouldn't be dropping triggers and putting them into soul on turn two. Turn two is the only time you would be doing them. And even then, keep in mind you're gonna have a full board. You're gonna have a magic behind. You're gonna have a a, a music order behind Vanguard. There's never a really good spot to drop these. So if you if you have them, I would just say run the pure ones. I just don't have them, so I do have them, but they're my Morphonica deck. So I would say just run the pure and just call it a day. Totally forgot about these. We're gonna talk about the Sithic cards because this is the important part of the Autokage uh, card. So some people have already kind of figured this out, which is good because it did kind of get discussed. But basically the reason why um, people run these cards is because this is a direct search for the deck. And then you basically call these. These are very funny effects. If you call them from hand, they basically get thrown away. But if you play them through the order, they get to draw you cards. The, the, the effect is simple. When something else is placed that's not their effects, you put them into soul and you draw. Now, why is that important? Well, funnily enough, there's a little funny interaction that you can do with this card. So if you were to have this on the board and then you play her, what happens is her effect goes on standby, but so is her effect. So if you counter blast top five, call something, because you called two, you actually get to draw two off of this. And then funnily enough, if you call another pink haired girl and then you get another one, you can actually draw even further. Now I will say it's risky, but you can do it. But yeah, basically otherwise these are dead cards. I run the two just because if there's like some off chance I need an attacker, what I could do is I could say I'm like breaking super hard. I can call like the, the, the I can call the other grade two and then uh, use use this to search out her and then basically swing with her. It kind of sucks you losing on the soul, but it, it can happen. Like if you feel like you're if you feel like you're, you're breaking and you need to kind of like or say you need to rush, but you can't rush, but you need to find a way to rush. You can do that. You can also call the grade one and move her up and swing with her if you're going second. If you already have a second copy of these, you can they're going to swing into it regardless. So you can kind of play the mind game with them swing into it, which means they're taking less damage and you can call another one. Then you can go down that approach. But that's basically what these cards are for. They're basically for drawing its soul. They're very, very important. The draw on soul is extremely big. And it's very important for this deck. Um, but let's go ahead and do a quick mulligan run. This is one of those decks where it's actually not the easiest deck to play. So a mulligan run, I think, will kind of help understand this deck a little more. All right, I found dice. I got a six. Opponent got a one. Wow. Okay. Well, sure. What our top five is looking like. All right. Ah, uh, this is okay. We're definitely gonna send back the triggers and draw two. We do have a we have double persona. This is like the scariest part is when you see too much persona uh because they are not shield cards and you really desperately need shield nice. cards we also want a persona right it's a very weird it's a very weird mix so we do have a discard target so that's always nice um and we have our grade one we're getting there we're cooking we're cooking we just need we just really need the pink hair girl basically here so let's go ahead and get our harakage uh here it would not be wise for us to play because we don't have the second one in hand so we're definitely gonna just grab the harakage and pass here then we're gonna take a damage uh then we're gonna draw can't draw apparently um and then we're gonna ride into the two with a discard what do we just discard? discard one of these we have to um to ride up to the two and then here we'll activate the harukage uh let's put it back here search for the for the card we can just grab whichever one we want that's nice and we didn't hit the pink haired girl which kind of sucks so i actually might replicate it here for y'all just so you guys can see it so let's pretend this is the uh, we're gonna actually pretend there's a pink haired girl i don't usually do this but i really want but this is a very important thing i want y'all to see um it, it matters um <laughs> and then if we if hopefully we find the brown haired girl um in the in the grand scheme of things because we're gonna need that too but we are gonna we're gonna replicate it here just so we could get it but anyway, we'll go ahead and place here that's how the effect works and then we're gonna go ahead and place the that's pink nice. hair uh one two three four surprise and we actually do get the, the the brown hair girl so okay we're back in the game i don't have to i don't have to cuff it out here just to show you guys a play uh, but basically the reason why i want to show you guys is because this will trigger twice so basically she'll go into soul because we played uh one of these it, we went on standby because of this use this effect first and then you basically draw two so we draw two oh two triggers yeah just the way i like it and now we basically set up here uh we have the grade one and we have the grade two the grade one will get 5k here because this will already get 5k um, and then basically we're just going to swing and also we're at three. Uh, we're going to just swing, do a drive check, hit a crit. Sure, we'll do crit here, power here, depending on how they block. Uh, then we're going to swing here and we're actually going to go ahead and use her ability to bind her and draw a card. And then we're going to swing with this side and also use ability to make her even higher and then bind her. And that was 23, 
This should have been 2333 with the with the trigger, and then this will die and we'll pass it back to our opponent. It'll give us a nice wonderful damage and then pass it back to us. And then now we're gonna go. Sorry, I'm trying to trying to fix this uh board state here we have going on. We're gonna go, we're definitely gonna drop uh this draw trigger because we definitely do not need it. And then we're gonna play her, use the ability for the top seven. That's nice. That seven definitely gonna add the two here because we're gonna have to play uh the, the the other one so we're gonna do that and then actually just nice. to make it even easier we're just gonna go ahead and cataplast get go get the music we're gonna get the grade two music so there's the music play the music soul blast to unbind the pink haired girl not use her ability and then we'll go ahead and call the two from hand and we're basically all set up so here this one's the one that only restands one rear so we're gonna go ahead and swing give her the plus five and then we're gonna swim with Van, restand nice. her, do our drive checks. And then we're gonna, wow, we have so many Persona. And then we're gonna go ahead and swing with this side, nice. find her to draw. Now we gotta draw, a draw for a draw. Uh, use the ability again to make her even higher and then go ahead and bind. And then we're just basically gonna take a ton of damage here. Probably gonna go to five. Um, and do we have the grade one? Oh my God, we have so many Persona. We have so many Persona, we don't have the grade one. That's hurtful. So we're gonna have this also dies. So we're gonna have to hope that, uh, this is enough shield. This is what I mean by the deck can be kind of fragile. Like we drew a lot, but look what we drew. Like we have three, we have three persona and uh, no no PGs. It's very hurtful when this deck doesn't find PGs. We're gonna go ahead and just discard all this and hope that it's enough to block uh, what could have been a pretty aggressive turn. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and persona here to draw. We hit a PG finally. It took us uh, it took us a while, but we got there. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and instantly counterblast search for the grade three order here. We got the great dude order under persona this deck gets a lot scarier <laughs> i'm not even gonna lie and then here we get soul blast and up to you how you want to do it we already have basically everything we need um you can search with the top five but you really don't need to uh, but you can if you really feel desperate to get another uh another unit but I'm, I'm not gonna do it just for just to keep it more normal anyway um okay that's basically that we're gonna go ahead and swing fully boosted here give her the the extra five um and then we're gonna swing this side. Uh, not do anything special here. Then we're gonna swing here for 23, do our drive checks. And then we're gonna go ahead nice. and uh, activate the ability to discard a card. We're definitely gonna discard the order. Stand all these. Um, and then they all get plus five. So this is now swinging for 18, 28. Activate her ability two more times. So that's 38 with the drive check. Well, we got crit. We're gonna definitely put whatever, however we have to distribute here. And then we're gonna swing with her. And then here we're definitely gonna soul blast. Soul blast to nice. give her the guard restrict. And then at the end of the turn, she'll bind, she'll bind, and we'll draw. And basically, I'm not gonna lie, y'all, nice. we probably die next turn because we do not have the shield. We can theoretically um oh also I forgot to draw off of the off of the energy would have mattered. Okay, we still would have hit the crit either way. Um uh, so that's actually useful. But anyway, um we bind her for the 10k. Uh we can't use the second one. We're gonna have to PG with one of we're gonna have to PG with one of the uh, the personas for sure. Uh, give up the 10k, give up the five, uh, give up another five, and then have to maybe give up her and hope that that's enough to get us through. Because we definitely have lethal probably here if we're going into um, another persona turn, but this is probably our last turn. Ain't gonna lie. Oh, now we're seeing our perfect cards because then we can, and from here on out, it's a rinse and repeat process. So again, you can cataplast, nice. get another order. We're gonna get the grade three again. Um, it's a rinse and repeat until you deck out from here on out. It's uh once once you get to this point, you're kind of doing the same thing over and over again, and you're just making sure you have all the pieces that you need uh, to play the game with. So we're gonna go ahead and play her, and we can um basically soul blast, get out the two. Get out. Oh, this is also bound. That's right. Um, <laughs> that's actually important. She did. She was bound. Um, so we don't get out the two here. We actually get out the bind and the pink haired girl yeah we got the bind the pink haired girl i have to do the pink haired girl's ability because this is our final turn anyway you might as well check it in here uh cool and also this uh this we'll give the fact to here um but yeah we'll go ahead and get the brown haired girl out so that's also really good shuffle again a lot a last turn we have barely any cards left in our deck as well so there's that and then from hand we'll just play this one and have the full abilities active this has initial 5k and we're under persona again and we have just enough soul to do everything so we can go ahead and swing again apply her apply her the 5k 
Uh, this is 18, uh, 28, 33. Swing on this side. You can choose to Soul Blast to bind here if you want, nice. um, just to have the effect active. Um, so this is again the 18. This is a little higher. Well, actually, it's the same because she has the plus five off of the off of the off of Soyo. So then we're gonna swing here. Four more drive checks over trigger. What a terrible spot to do this in. Um, we're not gonna. We're just gonna go ahead and apply the hundred million here and draw. Um, and draw again, just not call anything. Um, and then just basically give that up. And then, do we have another check? Yeah, we do have another check. Heal. Uh, <laughs> okay. Heal. Uh, we'll put the power here, obviously. And then use the ability to discard. We're going to discard a music. Obviously, you don't really want to discard anything else unless you feel like you just don't have any more counter blasts, in which case you do. Um, now here, it's a, I, I'm, honestly, either way would have made sense, but I think we're going to go ahead and use it over here. We got the drive check, we got the silk trick, and then, uh, this will not restand. It'll just be a regular attack and you can just soul blast and do the guard restrict. And then this will get bound, this will get bound, this will get bound, and we draw one. That's basically it. After that, we die. This is a really, this is when I was talking about the OT is a really weird spot to hit. Had it been on the on the drive check girl, we would have had this calm restanding twice, but because it was on the vanguard, it was a little awkward. It does happen. In that situation, the blue OT is better because then you can put the crit somewhere. Um, but and then you can also get a card back to hand. But to be honest, in this situation, even if we had the blue OT, we're gonna deck out either way. Like there's no way we're gonna live again. So yeah, it's kind of it's kind of a weird one. It either it's it's weird. There is that there's that off chance that you uh, check it during uh, the vanguard swing and you just kind of cry yourself to sleep. It can happen. Overall, I think this deck's really 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 strong. Definitely insane. It's stronger than Morphonica. However, Morphonica has a better time into Sharanui for the most part from what I've seen. Uh, I still haven't fully spent all the time in the world. To know, but Morphonica has a cost of resist, which is very annoying for Shirnui to deal with on top of a freestanding Vanguard. But this deck also can play around Shirnui as well, so it's just up to you how you play it. 50 cards that shop, color if you need your goodies. And yeah, um, thank you so much for watching. As always, I love the support, love the comments, keep them coming, and yeah, subscribe just to keep the keep the content going. And yeah, peace out. That's with Dino. See you guys in a future video. Bye.